Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Dojo Setting. Uh, today we are going to set one of my favorite moves, the Campus Rose 360. Uh, now, you're probably saying, what the heck is a Campus Rose 360? Um, so, campusing is not using your feet. A rose move is a really fun move that you end up grabbing a hold and having to cross through to gain the next hold. Um, and then a 360 is a full rotation. So let's put it on the wall and we'll talk about why it works and we'll talk about some other ways that it might not work. But we're gonna start off by putting this volume on the wall. Now, more times than not, a volume is the best way to make this work unless you have a wall that changes angles. And the reason being is that you need to be able to swing your body underneath these holds. Uh, so if you just have a hold on a wall, unless it's a really, really steep wall, it doesn't quite work. Uh, or at least not as comfortably, it doesn't work. So we're gonna start with this volume here. It can be done with smaller volumes. Uh, small triangle volumes work really well for this as well. Uh, you know, just something to change the angle to make it more comfortable to swing underneath. As I've said in previous videos, if I have an idea uh, for a move or sequence, I like to start with that and uh, branch the route out from there. So we're gonna start with the Campus Rose 360. So the idea is to hit here, swing underneath to here, and spin out and catch another hold here. Uh, when choosing holds for this, you need to choose something that's good enough to campus off of, but something that's not matchable. Um, my go-to are pockets. Uh, keep in mind, pockets can be dangerous. If your tendons aren't used to pulling on pockets, it's very easy to get hurt on them. Um, so I like pockets, I'm going to use them. Use whatever is appropriate for you. So when you're angling this hold, whether it's a pocket, whether it's a jug, whether it's whatever hold you're using, you want to make sure that it's comfortable to twist on. So if it's here, when I come underneath like this, I still want it to be comfortable. I don't want it to put my wrist in an awkward position. This feels okay, but I'm going to rotate it a little counterclockwise just tweaky enough to where I'm going to notice it. The hold that you are rose moving to doesn't necessarily matter a whole lot. However, again, you don't have feet, so you're going to need it to be something good enough that you can campus off of it. So the placement of the start hold and the start foot are actually really important because you don't want the climber to be able to get their foot on it to not have to do the campus rows 360. I also want to place the start hold far enough away from the volume so that I can't cross into the volume. Now, as far as the foothold goes, it doesn't necessarily need to be directional. Uh, I'm actually just gonna use this big sloper here. But it does need to be close enough, especially in my case because I'm going to a pocket, that I'm not jumping for the pocket. Uh, generally, you want it to be pretty extended. You don't want the climber to have a whole lot of wiggle room. Uh, to work with, you want their body to be pretty extended to force them to cut their feet in campus. Uh, now, the last thing we need to do is add a hold to 360 out of. So, let's try it and we'll see how it goes from there. So, as a disclaimer, I don't recommend forerunning boulders in tennis shoes. You should always wear climbing shoes. Uh, however, the nature of this move uh, doesn't require it. Good. 
so it works. Uh, however, it's not as comfortable as it could be. I think that the wedge is too close in. Uh, so I'm going to move it and we'll go from there. Uh, it works. It's a lot more comfortable going all the way out and it definitely entices you to do that. Um, so let's put on some climbing shoes and see if we can break it. So the first way that I'm gonna try to break it is to get my foot up to the start hold and not have to canvas. So as we talked about before, that hold has a nice taper to it. I can't really get anything out of it. Uh, the next thing we'll try to do is to actually use the volume instead of the holds. So that method will probably work, honestly, um, but uh, it's a lot more coordinated, it's a lot more blind. Uh, it's gonna be di more difficult. The other thing to do is once we do come underneath and we're facing out, let's see if we can uh, mess around with the feet a little bit and see if we can skip the unwind. Uh, it kind of works. Uh, it's a lot more hassle than it's worth. Uh, the move's a lot easier to do, uh, just doing it the intended way. There is the Campus Rose 360. Uh, like I said, it's one of my favorite moves to do, uh, one of my favorite uh, go-to's when I'm setting um, competitions and things like that. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you know what you want to see next, let me know down in the comments. Uh, like and subscribe. Uh, follow me on Instagram. I try to post there fairly frequently as well. And uh, we'll see you next time.